It's my first time back in the laundry room after a little hiatus. We've been doing a lot of filming in the bathroom lately, and you know what? This is a great change of scenery when you compare it to looking right down the face of a toilet bowl. So I'll take it. Anyway, this week I'm gonna share with you some laundry hacks to help make your laundry a little bit easier. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm at Melissa Maker. You probably know that in August, Chad and I went to beautiful Sedona, Arizona, and while we were there, we did some hiking, which happened to change my shoes from white to red. So when I machine wash the shoes, obviously they will go into the dryer as well. While they're machine washing, they've gotta bang around and do their thing, but when they're in the dryer, they don't need to knock around as much, because you know, it's noisy and it sounds crazy when you're drying your shoes. So there's a couple of easy ways that you can prevent all of that banging around from happening when your shoes go in the dryer. The first thing you can do is actually take your shoes by the laces, hang the laces over the door and then close the door so that part of the laces are still sticking out. This will keep your shoes from banging around during the drying cycle. Now, if you don't wanna do that, you can also put the shoes in a delicates bag and then you can hang a portion of the delicates bag outside of the door, close it, and then that will have the same effect. Grease stains seem to come at the most inopportune times and they are so, so challenging to get rid of, but if you get one, there's an easy fix for it, and you can do it really quickly and really conveniently. All you need is a little piece of chalk. You can even carry it around with you in your bag. And when you get a grease stain, simply color over it with the chalk and let that chalk just do its thing. What it'll do is start to draw out the oil from the fabric. Leave that for up to a couple of hours, depending on the severity of the stain, and then you can gently scrape off the chalk pre-treat the stain, and launder it. In laundry conversations, you might hear people talk about colors fading or colors bleeding. Well, there's a quick fix for that, and all you need to do is add half a cup of salt to your wash cycle, run it through as usual, and what the salt will do is help lock in any new clothing colors, or it'll help freshen up and revive older clothing that has sort of fading colors. If you want a quick, cheap way to whiten your whites, well, nothing can get cheaper than the sun. I mean, I couldn't bring a sun in here, so this is gonna have to do. All you have to do is line dry your white items in the sun. For whatever reason, UV rays do amazing things to white garments, whitens them, freshens them, lightens them. It can even help get rid of stains. We'll cover that at another time. And it also helps deodorize. So the sun is a good thing for your clothing, but your white clothing in general. If you notice that over time, your towels start to age, which they do, they start to get a little crispy, a little crunchy and crackly against your skin. They start to have that towel-y odor. There's an easy way to fix that. I mean, first of all, your towels age, so this is going to happen to everybody. And second of all, if it's easy to fix, why wouldn't you do it? All you have to do is run through two cycles with your towels. The first cycle is going to be hot water with one cup of white vinegar. When that's done, you're gonna do a second load, again, hot water, and one cup of baking soda. This will help knock out any old buildup in the towel, whether it's soap, body oils, or even fabric softener or laundry detergent. And it'll also help lighten up the fabrics to keep them softer, and it will help deodorize them as well. Fabric softener is a nice thing to add to your laundry routine, but if you don't wanna actually use store-bought fabric softener or dryer sheets, you can make your own. And a lot of people prefer this option because store-bought options can tend to leave a residue or a coating on your clothing, which actually helps keep static away, but some people might be sensitive to the smells or the texture, or they just might not want the extra additives. In which case, all you need to do is whip up your own, and this works so well, I use it all the time. Now keep in mind, you put this in with your detergent in the appropriate tray, and then your machine will dispense it at the right time during the wash cycle. The, the recipe that I'm using here is a liter of white vinegar and 10 drops of your favorite essential oil. I always tend to favor lavender whenever it comes to laundry because it has a lot of good antibacterial properties that help your laundry smell good. 
So mix that up, give it a good shake, and put about a cup in your machine each time you run a load through. On the topic of fabric softener and vinegar, many of you guys don't use a dryer to dry your towels, and that can actually lead to pretty flat and kind of a crispy texture on your towels when you take them off of your drying rack or off your drying line. Now there's an easy way to fix this. All you need to do is use this kind of fabric softener instead of the commercial kind of fabric softener. This won't leave a residue behind, so it works really, really well. If you notice that your towels are still coming out kind of crispy, you can run through a second load with regular hot water, and you can add a cup, an extra cup of the fabric softener, run that through again, and your towels should come out nice and fluffy when you hang them to dry. Now, if you find that they're still coming out a little bit crispy, you might want to knock it back a notch on your detergent, because if you're overdosing on your detergent, you still might have some soapy residue left behind and that will leave your towels flat and kind of unpleasant to the touch. Laundry really is a never-ending story and I know it's a popular topic with you guys because you're always asking me laundry questions, which is totally cool. That's what I'm here for. So I hope this has helped you out a little bit and made your laundry life a little bit easier, but I'd love to know in the comments down below what is your biggest laundry challenge. Let me know and I'll see if we can tackle it in a future video. Now keep in mind we have lots and lots of laundry videos, we'll link some of them down below, we'll put some in the end card, and Chad and I do Laundry Live, which is a Facebook live event, every Sunday at 9pm Eastern, unless of course there's a major event going on, in which case we will forego it that week. But you can always tune in and ask us your questions at that time. If you want to see what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from doing and folding laundry, you can find me on Instagram and Snapchat. I am at Melissa Maker, the guy who folds the laundry like a champion. He is at the Chad Reynolds and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And since we're on the topic of laundry, I figured we would continue the trend and talk more about laundry. Our first video over here talks all about how to get rid of laundry stank because it exists, it's real, and there are some simple solutions. So check that video out. And the other video I want you to check out is this one, how to clean your washer and dryer. If you notice you're not getting good results with your laundry, there's a really good chance that it has to do with your machines not being clean. And once you clean them, you will notice a big difference. So definitely check that one out. If you guys haven't done so already, I highly recommend, although I am biased, that you check out our website. It's cleanmyspace.com. It's awesome. It's got all kinds of articles, video links, celebrity cleaning interviews, and you can also sign up for our monthly newsletter, which is totally free, The Dirty Dish. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next week.